CNN's MJ Lee was there, joins us now with the latest. Uh, there was a rather large crowd there tonight. You can got a chance to talk to him before the event as he was walking through. You asked him to weigh in on Boehner's resignation. What did he say? Well, Anderson, one thing is for sure, Donald Trump is back. Uh, over the last week or so, we've seen a more subdued and reserved side of Donald Trump, but tonight he was back in full force. And you're right, uh, before he gave his speech, we got a chance to walk and talk with him a little bit at the fair here tonight. Asked him about the big news out of D.C. today, uh, John Boehner's resignation from Congress. As you know, uh, others in the field, 2016 field, including Ted Cruz, Rick Santorum, have come out and outright said it's time time for Boehner to go. It's time for him to make room for a more conservative House Speaker. Listen to what uh, Trump had to say about this. Well, I think it's time. I mean, it's really time for him. He's uh, a lot of problems. we got to get the country going, and I think it really is time. So you think it's a good thing for the party? I think right now it is. There's tremendous division in the party, and I think right now having him go is a good thing for the party, yes. And, and next week he's supposed to release his tax plan, correct? That's correct. He's got a busy week next week. He has a rally in uh, New Hampshire on Monday, another uh, on Wednesday rather, another one in Virginia Beach on Friday. And at some point in the week, he is supposed to release his tax plan. As you know very well, Anderson, this is a campaign that has lacked in policy details. So whenever that does come out, it's something that we'll be on the lookout for uh, very closely. MJ, I appreciate it. Joining me now is Sam Clovis, Donald Trump's national campaign chairman. Mr. Clovis, always good to have you uh, on the show. The fact that Donald Trump keeps boasting about the crowds at his events, insisting that the media is shortchanging him. I mean, the media has arguably been probably one of the biggest helps to him over the past couple of months. Every poll, every speech. Do you really believe people are shortchanging him on anything? No, I just think it's, uh, it's uh, episodic. I, I think we have instances where uh, people might, for some reason or another, uh, because he has had such large crowds, if they see an empty seat or two at, a, at an event, uh, they might uh, want to focus in on that. But I think, generally speaking, uh, we've had all of our uh, uh, events have been heavily attended. I was in uh, uh, Dallas uh, a couple weeks ago for that uh, incredible event down there, and uh, we were at the USS Iowa out in California as well. And so we, we haven't seen anything that really indicates that the people aren't coming out. They're there. and. Uh, I think sometimes uh, it's just to get a slice or to raise the the uh, temperature in the room a little bit. I think that sometimes people report things in a different way. The, the fact that he continually goes after reporters, um, like my colleague Randy Kay, who reported that you know there was one event the other day that didn't have a full house, though another event that later that day had a very full house. I mean, he immediately gets very personal, very nasty. Is as I mean, you've worked with campaigns before. Does he seem particularly thin-skinned to you? No, I, I don't think so. I think that it, it's a it's a style. I think it, it's what we're really doing is we're asking for re responsible reporting. This is a very large uh, field that we have. Uh, I think earned media is an incredibly important part of campaigns. Uh, I know a little bit about that, uh, having run uh, a couple of campaigns myself, and. And so I, I think this is really is a way to keep people on their toes and to keep them focused. And I think that uh, this is, when you look at a field this large, uh, think about what people are doing, some of the candidates are doing, to try to get that earned media. So I don't, I don't think that this is anything unusual. I think it's just it, it's a, it's style points, and I think this is where we are. How much more, how many more specifics are we going to start to get? I mean, we know uh, Donald Trump is, is going to be releasing, I guess, his tax plan next week. Do you see more plans being released in the, the weeks after that? I, I sure do. My, my, my job jar is pretty full, Anderson, so yes, I do. Uh -huh. uh, just, just to be blunt, yes, uh, we, uh, uh, we're working on, I, I think it, when it's again, I, we don't want to tip our cards too much, but I think one of the things that happens is when we, you have candidates come out here and they want to roll out a 14-point plan and uh, take a look at you know Governor Bush's plan that he's rolled out on taxes. I mean, a lot of people have got some some indication, but you go to crowds and you go around and talk to the general public and you ask them if they've seen it. They don't. They haven't seen it. And the worst part of it is if you have a candidate who is who is leading. Uh, when you start to roll out specifics, then uh, people start to, to uh, attack and, and pick those apart. It's when we say we're going to build the wall. I mean, all the candidates that are uh, out there that are not in first place, 
are sitting there saying that's impossible. They don't give any supporting evidence of that. They just say you can't do it. So but who why you, can't you? I mean, who, so those are the kinds of things that are, and if you take a look at where we are in the Second Amendment, take a look at where we are in immigration, those are pretty specific. Who do you believe is Trump's biggest rival right now? Because obviously all the polls, he's leading the polls, there's no doubt about it. Uh, he's been going after Marco Rubio a lot later. lately. He's been criticizing, obviously, still Carly Fiorina. Is there somebody in particular that you're focused on? Oh, no, I, I would say no. I, I think it's generally it's the it's the uh, it's the field. It's a lot like a golf tournament. Uh, you know, it used to be the time when uh, everybody would bet on Tiger Woods, or they would bet on the field. And I think that right now uh, we have a lot of people betting on the field. Uh, I happen to be betting on Donald J. Trump. Uh, well, uh, and it seems to be paying off right now, Sam Clovis. I appreciate you joining us as always. Thanks, Sam. Anderson, I've got to say, you yeah. know that. I come on your show often enough, people are going to start talking, so uh, it's great to see you again. <laughs> all right. Well, great to see you. All right, you take care, Sam. Up next, we're going to look, at, uh, look ahead to the next stop for Pope Francis uh, in Philadelphia. We, of course, will be covering that tomorrow. I'm going to be driving down there tonight. We'll be there all weekend. We'll look back.